These Parmesan courgette fries are so good. They're a really healthy alternative to your standard deep fried potato fries and they taste amazing. Crunchy on the outside with cheesy Parmesan that crisps up and they're so good when you dip them into aioli. And it's a great way to get everyone to eat their veggies too. Mix some ground almonds, or you could use polenta instead, some very finely grated parmesan cheese, some herbs like thyme or rosemary or maybe oregano, and some salt in a bowl. Crack an egg into another bowl and whisk it up. So some tips with choosing your courgettes. Try and get courgettes that are as straight as possible. This one's got a little bit of a bend in it, but hey, that's okay, we can put up with that. If you get courgettes that are really thick and fat, they're gonna have too much of the watery seeds inside, and you don't actually want too much of that part. You want more of the outer flesh. Trim the top and the bottom off each courgette, cut each courgette in half, and then in half again lengthways. And then cut them into chips that are about one centimeter thick. If it does look like there's quite a lot of seeds on your piece of courgette, you can always just trim it so that you're left more with this part. Now for the crumbing part. Dip each courgette finger into the egg mixture. When you dip the courgettes into the egg bowl, try and wipe off as much of the excess egg as you can um, so that you don't end up with a real eggy, gooey, snotty mess. You put it into the almond parmesan mixture and make sure it's well coated. So the trick to this, so that you don't end up with this mucky, eggy mess all over your hands, is that you use one hand, so I'm using my left hand, for the egg bowl and then one hand for the ground almonds and parmesan bowl. Then just put them on a baking tray that's been lined with baking paper. Then just bake them until they're golden and crispy. So it's gonna take about 15 minutes, but if you want them to be a bit more golden, just keep cooking them for a few more minutes at a time. While they're cooking, we can quickly make an aioli. I like to go half mayonnaise, half Greek yogurt, just to make it a bit lighter, and I like the tang that yogurt gives as well. Some finely chopped garlic and a little bit of smoked paprika. And just a pinch of salt. Look at that guy. Doesn't he look yummy? Crispy on the outside, really like cheesy, golden cheesy parmesan crust. Dip him in some aioli. Oh. Yum, that is so good. Especially dipped into that aioli. I could easily eat this whole lot of chips. Make like three batches if you make these because they're gonna go really, really fast. <laughs> 